Hello everybody. Today our topic is algorithm for formation of bus inference matrix. Okay. So in order to discuss this topic, we have to keep one point that Z bus is known for us. Okay. So Z bus is known for a partial network having M buses and zero or O as our reference node. Okay. So here you can see the partial network having M number of buses and zero as your reference node. Okay. So now uh, you all know this is a first bus, second bus and so on, mth bus. I1, I2 and so on, IM are the currents impressed at corresponding buses and E1 is the voltage across bus 1 with respect to reference and E2 is the bus 2 voltage reference to with, uh, with respect to reference 0. Okay, so this is the partial network. So now uh, the performance equation can be uh, written in three forms, uh, three frames. So first one is a bus frame of reference, second one is a branch frame of reference and third one is a loop frame of reference. So um, now today in this class we are going to discuss the performance equation using Zbus. Okay, so using Zbus we are going to uh, study the algorithm for the formation of bus inference matrix. So this is the performance uh, equation in bus frame of reference that is E bus equal to Z bus into I bus where E bus is a vector. Okay, so because it's a vector it was represented like this. Okay, so E bus is M by 1 vector of voltages measured with respect to references that means E1, E2 and so on, Em. Similarly, I bus, okay, so I bus vector. This is also M by 1 vector of impressed bus currents. Okay, so these are the currents I1, I2 and so on, Im. Okay, so now uh, here we can observe two conditions. Okay, so first one is addition of branch and second one is the addition of link. Okay, so in both the cases the inference matrix is going to be changed. So how it is going to be changed that we need to discuss so that we can form the algorithm. Okay, so now when you say that the added element is a branch and when you say the added element is a link. So it is purely depend on simple point. So when you add an element to the existing partial network and if you form a new bus then the added element will be considered as add, addition of branch okay so like this so here 1 2 3 and so on bus p and so on m 0 these are all existing buses now if we add an element so that we got a new bus okay so new bus q so now this element will be considered as a branch. So this case will be called as addition of branch. Okay. So for this case algorithm will be different and for this case algorithm will be different. So it's a reverse one. So how uh, this will be called as a link. If you connect an element and no new node formed, then the element will be called as addition of link. Okay. So here, Q is an existing node or bus of this partial network. So that's why this element will be considered as addition of link. So for this case algorithm will be different. So this is the basic idea. This is the partial network. This is addition of branch and this is addition of link. Now today in this class we are going to discuss addition of branch. Okay, so here is your addition of branch derivation. So, uh, from uh, uh, the first equation that is there in the previous slide, okay, so there is bus frame of reference E bus equal to Z bus into I bus is there, no? So, that, that, that performance equation has been analyzed 
incorporating with element PQ. So here the element is considered as a branch because new node Q has been formed. Okay. So this is a E bus matrix. So up to now only EM. So new node that is Q has been formed. So EQ is a voltage of node Q with respect to reference 0. Okay. So similarly this is the existing Z bus. Okay, so these are the added elements, added impedance values because of new node. Okay, so these are the existing currents and this is the new current, new impressed current at bus Q. Okay, so this is the performance equation for a partial network with added element PQ. So now here we have to assume that the network consists of bilateral passive elements that means zqi so i can be 1 2 3 and so on any number okay so other than q so this zqi is equal to ziq so if that one is satisfying means it is default bilateral passive elements bilateral okay so now all we need to do is we have to derive the relation for off diagonal elements Okay, and diagonal element. There you can uh, find the algorithm for formation of Z bus. Okay, so firstly we need to find the relation for off diagonal elements and then diagonal elements. Okay, so first we start with off diagonal elements. Okay, so this slide is uh, for calculation of ZQI. How we are going to calculate this off diagonal element? The thing is that we are going to connect a current source at ith bus where i is a existing bus. Okay, so we are going to connect a current source at ith bus with respect to reference. Okay, so now rest of all are same and we are connecting current at ith bus and we are going to calculate the voltage at new node that is qth bus. If we do so, then we can able to calculate zqi. Okay, so that statement will be soon you will understand. So how? Okay, so now what I am doing, I am taking this current, injected current as 1 per unit. Okay, so and uh, vpq is a voltage across the added element. So simple mathematics, simple uh, electrical circuits concept that VPQ is nothing but EP minus EQ. So from this relation EQ is equal to EP minus VPQ. Okay, so now since all uh, other bus currents are zero as you can see. Okay, so from equation one, what is that? E this is equation one. Okay, so from this equation one. E1 equal to this row into this row into this column, right? So Z11, 12, so on, so on are there, no? So that's why this is Z1i into, because all other currents are 0, you don't write it. Simply, at somewhere you will be having some current I, no? Okay, so multiply that. Okay, so EI into Z1i into II. Similarly, second one and so on pth element and so on mth element next one qth element okay you consider this entire collective equations as two okay so now what i am doing i am separating into two groups one is a added element other one is a existing elements i am taking the suffix pq for the added element and rho sigma as rho sigma for existing elements okay so i am writing the currents in the network in this network uh, expressed in terms of primitive admittances and voltages across the elements so uh, it's a fundamental equation i equal to yv is the formula no so added element first next existing elements similarly that corresponding admittance matrix okay into voltages across added element and existing elements okay so where rho sigma will uh, indicate what elements of 
partial network or existing network this one okay now the current in the added branch you can see the current in the added branch is what is that zero do you have any closed path this is all voltage only there won't be any closed path so that's why the current in the added branch is zero so the current usually will take from p to q so what is ipq that is zero okay so that ipq equal to zero now if ipq is zero is it mean vpq is equal to zero no so vpq is not equal to zero so now uh, here uh, we are expanding this existing elements relation so we are using a vector notation because so many elements are there no so many buses are there so that's why we use a vector notation so v rho sigma vector equal to e rho minus e sigma where this e rho e sigma are the voltages or at buses in the partial network so now from fourth and fifth equations see the fourth and fifth equations so this is the fourth equation from this equation what you can write ipq equal to this rho into this column that is ypq pq into vpq plus ypq rho sigma into v rho sigma that is equation from 4 okay so now what is 5 is saying that ipq equal to 0 so that's why keep that value as a zero value from this relation we can find the relation for v p q so this is the relation now we can even simplify this equation okay so now what we are doing so oh, we got the relation for uh, v rho sigma no as e rho minus e sigma you just substitute this one so you get equation 7 so now what you are doing um, substitute this equation 7 in equation 3 so what is your equation 3 what is your equation 3 eq equal to ep minus vpq you got the relation for vpq so you substitute there there you can find the relation for off diagonal element clear okay so now what is the statement at the starting by injecting a current at ith bus calculate the voltage at qth bus in this way you can find zqi okay so same only no here only you can observe like uh, otherwise uh, here only you can observe so what is happening what is the ia value what is the ia value that is one per unit if it is one what is zqi simply eq if we can calculate eq from this third equation in order to solve the third equation you need the relation for vpq we tried this one and we got the relation for vpq so that we got the relation for eq that eq is nothing but what zqi in this way we can find off diagonal elements okay so now it is the time to find diagonal element that is zqq in the same way we do so what is happened in the previous case we have connected a current source okay so we have connected a current source at ith bus and we have calculated the voltage at qth bus now what is the scene now we are connecting a current source at qth bus and we are going to calculate the voltage at qth bus there you can find the off diagonal element okay right you just imagine that previous uh, network okay so from equation one instead of uh, uh, i what you are supposed to take q simple okay now you have injected a current source at qth bus not ith bus so simply replace i with q there you can find the ninth equation now again what you do that injected current i q so put that value as one per unit so if you keep that value as 1 per unit so zqq that is a diagonal element of your z bus okay so diagonal element
can be calculated directly by calculating EQ. So now we are going to use the same old third equation. So third equation is there? No, we are going to use this same equation. So now we have to get EQ. So EQ relation will be the same. Now again we need to find the relation for VPQ. So now how we can find let us see. It's very simple. If you can understand the previous one of diagonal elements, it is very, very easy. Okay, so now um, let us go back to the network. Okay, so if you can connect a current source here in this direction, okay, in this direction, if you co connect a current source, what is the current flowing in, in this way is a one per unit? No, in this way, how much is the current? minus 1. Okay. Now, what is uh, the current flowing through PQ? Is it 1 per unit or minus 1 per unit? So, that is obviously minus 1 per unit. Okay. So, here is that point. So, IPQ is equal to minus IQ that is minus 1. So, now again what you do? You consider that Weibus equation is there. No. So, you consider this fourth equation. So, IPQ equal to YPQ. This row into this column equation is there. No, you consider the same. But what is IPQ now in this case? Minus 1. So, substitute the same. Okay. So, here is your equation. And now it is not equal to 0 but is minus 1. So, if you solve this equation, you will be getting the relation for VPQ. Now, what you do? you substitute this VPQ relation. Okay. So, before doing that one, you even modify this relation. How you can modify? By replacing V rho sigma with E rho minus E sigma. Now, you consider the third equation. What is the third equation? What is the third equation? EP minus VPQ. So, here is your EP minus of minus plus this relation. Done. Okay, once you calculate EQ, that EQ is nothing but what? EQ is nothing but ZQQ because IQ we have considered that one as one per unit. So, in this way, we can find the diagonal element. So, here we have not touched the point mutual um, admittance. So, if there is no mutual coupling between the added element and the existing elements, you just keep this value zero. Okay, so what is ZQQ? Simply ZPQ plus what is 1 by Y? That is Z. So ZPQ comma PQ. That means if there is no mutual coupling, then ZQQ, okay, so ZQQ equal to ZPQ plus 1 by Y PQ comma PQ. Okay, so this is nothing but what? ZPQ comma PQ. So, here I want to uh, tell you one important point. Most of the students will do this mistake. Okay. So, here you can observe I have not used any kind of bar over. Okay. So, because this is not a vector. Okay. It's a single element. Now, I have considered a vector notation here because this is having rho sigma. That means so many numbers can be possible here. So, here you have to use the vector notation. Okay, that is a simple difference. Okay, whenever you find more number, then it, it is not uh, treated as a single element. Okay, it is of a vector. Okay, I hope you understand. If you are having any doubts, please uh, comment that um, doubt. I will clarify. Thank you.